Hey everyone, painting with Rick. We're gonna do a quick painting today for you. With all you need is some, make sure you got some linseed oil, and just put it in a little bowl like this so you can uh, dip your uh, brushes into it. Okay. I'm gonna. All you need is a little burnt umber. Uh, I got my colors already on the palette laid out. See, here's my burnt umber. And I'm going to design a quick landscape for you. And uh, I want it to be a dark painting, okay? So I'm going to have like uh, a horizon in here. We'll have a hill coming like this, okay? Coming down. And uh, then... I think I'm going to have, we'll have some rolling hills back here, like this, okay. Just kind of sketch it in with this uh, burnt dumber, and then under this hill, just kind of uh, scum it out a little bit, so it gets a little lighter. But I'll, I'll take a paper towel and uh, do that once I get it all laid out with some burnt dumber here. Just put some color. This will be the underpaint, okay? I want it to be a dark, a dark painting. So we'll use this burnt umber as the underpaint. We'll have a hill here. And let's get some more. We'll, I'm going to have some bushes right here in the front. Like this. And then we're going to have a, we'll have a, some kind of tree coming up uh right here okay probably an evergreen tree I'm just gonna kind of stamp in some color so you can see it I'll we'll have an evergreen tree there maybe uh, one on the side of it too I'll just put the color in some bushes here take your brush and kind of pull to the right now under those bushes and create some ground down here by scumming your brush, just like this, okay? Just scum it in there. Maybe we'll have some water come down right through here from in front of those bushes here. Some water coming through here, and then we'll have uh, some bushes on the edge of the water right here. Just and then scum the lower part of those bushes there. So there's our there's our landscape there. And then there's going to be uh, we'll have some distant trees over here on this hill. Okay, just like this. Just stamp in what will look like some uh, trees up there on this hill. And we're going to have a dark sky. So just kind of. Let's scum our sky in real quick. Just like that. Just uh, get some color in your sky by light or oh, really scum it in there into the canvas. It really takes a little bit to uh, scum it in there. But there, look at that. We got a cool layout already. We're going to paint right over, right over this stuff, okay? Isn't that cool? We got a little sketch from Burnt Umber. Let's get started. <laughs> All right, so I'm going to start with the sky. I think I'm going to put, uh, I want it dark, so this is Payne's Gray. I'm going to put Payne's Gray, uh, at the top here, well, Payne's gray, and grab a little bit of white, just a little touch of white, okay, just to get it to mix with that Payne's gray just a bit, okay, so when we go to blend it, it'll look cool. Now I'm going to grab some blue, uh, this blue is, I think it's yeah, cobalt blue. So let's just put some blue up here. Don't worry about your trees. You can go around them or you can actually cover them up because uh, we'll restamp the trees, okay? But let's get our sky going. 
you can actually just cover them up for now because we know where they're going to be, okay? Let me grab a little more white. I'm dipping into my linseed oil and grabbing the color I need because uh, you need linseed oil to get the paint to run a little bit. Once you get the paint on your canvas, then you won't need the linseed oil as much, okay? So there's our sky. Let's grab a... Uh, I got a mop brush here. What I'm going to do is kind of, let me bl blend the blue in first. Let's blend this in real quick. Blue, I'm going to blend the blue out first because that looks cool, that little spot there. Now I'm going to blend all the other parts. Get all those brush strokes out is what I'm doing. Doesn't that look cool? It already looks like a cool sky. But I'm not done yet. I'm going to throw some clouds up there now. I'll show you the way I do my clouds. Get Dip into your linseed oil and grab some titanium white. And uh, let's punch in some clouds up here. Okay. When you do your clouds, just pretend like you're hitting the top part of the cloud. Okay. That's enough clouds. It's a small canvas, 14 by 14. Now just wipe your brush off. Come in here and stamp the lower portion of the cloud. Let's get really loose. Don't try not to be careful. Let's do this painting fast. And I think it'll, it's going to look really good, okay? Just stamp the lower portion of your cloud. Now let's grab our uh, fan brush. I mean the uh, mop brush, okay? And now at the bottom of your cloud, let's blend the bottom of the cloud in. You can actually pull this one to the right a bit so it looks like it's blowing. But just blend the lower portion of the cloud. Blend your sky in. Let's blend this one in just at the bottom. Watch how cool that cloud looks. Okay. Okay just the lower portion. Now, if you want to blend the top parts, you can. Uh, just go across them very lightly. You can actually blend them up if you want. But if you blend them too much, you're going to lose the uh, whiteness. So what you can do is just come in here and lightly tap with your mop brush the edge of your cloud very lightly so you don't lose that white color, okay? Just like that. Look at that sky, man. Wow, I like that blue spot right in the middle there. Let's reestablish our trees over here now. I'm going to 